Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on mass updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on mass updates. It's one of my uh, personal favorite videos in the series. I think it's uh, really important to keep your server up to date because you never know what the uh, the latest issues are out there and uh, what fixes are, are already in place to prevent it from happening to you. So uh, just keeping uh, your BIOS updated, your firmware updated, your onboard diagnostics, the NIC, the RAID, all the different things are going to get updated is a pretty cool feature uh, that, that, that Dell has because realistically running this uh, whole process can take you know, 10, 15 minutes. It's a really quick process to do. Now the updates might actually take hours to do depending on how old your system is. Uh, we'll do some updates sometimes to like older 12th gen servers and we'll you know, literally run them overnight and we'll come back in and it's been you know, 12, 14 hours and they're still going because they're so old. Uh, so depending on how uh, late in the future this is when someone's watching this video, um, the, the updates might actually take a few hours, but luckily it'll only take a few minutes to, to run through the whole process, okay? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook the server up to a network, uh, essentially we're gonna go to Dell's uh, update and upgrade, uh, excuse me, their update catalog, and then we're going to choose the updates that we want, which realistically you want to pick all the updates that are there, um, and then we're just going to run through the whole process. So that's really what we're going to do. So let's hop in. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to perform mass updates. Mass updates is a great way to go ahead and update a bunch of different things for your server all at once. It's going to update things like firmware for your RAID controller, for your network card. Um, it's also going to update things like your BIOS, uh, your onboard diagnostics, different driver packs, and even your iDRAC, um, and a couple of other things. So it's, it's a really neat feature that is integrated within um, Dell's lifecycle controller. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and boot up your server. And during post, you want to go ahead and press F10 so we can go ahead and enter into the lifecycle controller. Once we are in lifecycle controller, we want to go ahead and scroll down. You want to go ahead and scroll down to settings. And then we want to go ahead and click on network settings. And in here, we're going to go ahead and connect our server to the internet. So we're going to go ahead and keep our NIC port 1 and then we're going to set a IP address via DHCP. Later on in the series, we have a video talking about how to set a static IP and a DHCP IP address. So if you're interested to learn a little bit more about that, go ahead and check out that video. Uh, but we wanna go ahead and set this DHCP IP address. We will go ahead and let this load. And once it is successful, we can go ahead and click on finish. Essentially by doing this, this is what's going to allow us to connect to the internet so we can go ahead and pull all of the updates we need from a Dell Downloads Network Share. So once we've done that, we want to scroll up to Firmware Update and then we want to click on Launch Firmware Update. And here we want to scroll down and select Network Share and then we can go ahead and click on Next. Up here we want to change this to HTTPS and then we want to type in the shared name address, which is going to be downloads.dell.com. Once we've typed that in, we can go ahead and scroll all the way down and then just click on next. And then we'll give this a second to load. And this is going to download and validate all of the update packages. So we can go ahead and then access them and then select the ones we want. So here we can just go ahead and click on yes. And this is only because since we are using servers that aren't supported anymore, um, that certificate that we're going to to download these updates, um, the certificate's no longer invalid, but it is completely safe. So we can just go ahead and ignore that message. Once all the download packages are finished, we are presented with all of the different updates that we can do. And if something is not up to date, um, it'll automatically select it. As you can see that we have check marks on some of these, and then some of these don't have any check marks um, because they're already completely up to date. So we can just go ahead and scroll down and be able to see all the different updates we can run. We can pick and choose different ones. So once we've selected all the ones we wanna do, we can just go ahead and click apply. And then this is actually gonna start downloading the update packages. 
So this part may take a little bit of time, but we're just gonna wait this out. And then once it's done downloading the download packages, the mass updates will begin, and then we can just sit back and relax. So like I said, all we gotta do is just sit back and relax and wait for all this to finish. These updates can take several hours, um, and there's a lot of factors that determine um, how long this will take. A lot of it has to do with how many updates you have selected, which updates you have selected. For us, we selected a good amount of different updates, um, so it's gonna take us a little bit of time. Like I said, it could take several hours. Uh, it could take, you know, 30 minutes if you don't have any updates selected, or it could take, you know, 10 hours or so. Sometimes what we like to do um, is we'll like to go ahead and run mass updates on a bunch of different servers that we're gonna be sending out to clients. And you know we'll come back in the morning and sometimes they're not fully updated. They're still running. Sometimes we just have systems that are very out of date. So we go ahead and you know keep that running overnight. But mass updates is such a great way to go ahead and update everything on your system and make sure the system's fully up to date. If you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like and smash the subscribe. And if you're interested in purchasing a custom built server, whether it's Dell, HP, Supermicro, Cisco, um, we have plenty in stock. We also have AMD Ryzen servers, AMD Epic servers, Intel Xeon scalable servers. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Take care, guys.